this a little bit this morning. A local church is raising a lot of eyebrows for their controversial billboard along I-75 in Phillips. The message says, the billboard I should say, it says being gay is a gift from God and as you can imagine a lot of folks trying to figure out how to actually interpret this. Well, here to sort out the real meaning of the message, we have uh, Michelle Lesner and we also have Lynn Braun from Central United Methodist Church in Toledo. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. We're so glad to have you on the show, first of all. Well, thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, and especially thank you for waking up this early. We know <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. coming here at 6 in the morning, not the easiest thing. Uh, China, do you want to start us off? I want to start off because I'm, I'm fairly new to Toledo. I've only been here since May, and I recently saw this billboard while driving to work on I-75 in Phillips. Mm -hmm. And you, you actually share the billboard. It's a digital billboard that's being shared with uh, the lottery and a couple other ones as well. And when I saw it, I just happened to catch it. I almost slammed on my brakes on the freeway going 70 miles per hour. Well, I'm glad you didn't. It caught my attention <laughs> right away. <laughs> that's, and it that's caught extreme, the eye of John China. James as well. Well, well you mm -hmm. don't, you, for a church, I, I mm -hmm. noticed that it was from you guys, mm -hmm. um, Central United Methodist Church in Toledo, and I couldn't, I couldn't believe my eyes because you don't see a lot of churches sending out this message. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the message. You know, for our church, this is not a new message. Um, actually, we've been a reconciling church, which means welcoming to folks who are, are GLBTQ uh, for 25 years, so maybe a little more than that. Mm -hmm. um, the yeah. idea for the billboard, though, was Lynn's. And, uh, well, I mean, we've been ministering to the gay and lesbian community for, again, a closer 25 to 30 years and, and decided that, you know, there are lots of churches sending very public messages about um, being gay not being okay and that it was time that we sent a little more strong of a, of a message than yeah. maybe we've sent before. But that, but that definitely has been consistent with our message for 25 to 30 years. And, and we found that that was accurate, um, that, that this is a message that the community and, and the nation and the world, honestly, uh, has had evidently needed to hear. And we've gotten great responses. Well, let's talk about, about the responses here. Have they all been great? What sort of uh, backlash, if any, have you received? Um, not everybody is pleased, I guess, uh, that we're making uh, the statement that we are. But... I would say 75% of the messages we receive, um, not just from Ohio, but across the nation and across the world, actually, which was a big surprise to us, um, have been very positive. Um, not just not just agreeing with the message, but honestly talking about how that many people have been damaged uh, from churches and how what a relief it has been for them to see a church that that is sending a different message to them. Um, a lot of folks saying they never thought they would go back to church who feel more hopeful about maybe being able to go back to church, given the fact that, that some churches are willing to make this statement. And Michelle, you said that this was really Lynn's sort of idea that she brought to light. I want to talk about the actual message itself. Let's talk about the text. It says, being gay is a gift from God. Well, if you kind of break it down and, and you look at the word gift, you, when you think of when you, when you get a gift, you get a gift because you're special, right? I'm just a little confused in terms of mm -hmm. the actual choice of words. Personally, I, op I accept everyone with open arms, so the message itself did not offend me. Mm -hmm. But for some, when I, when I talk to some people about the billboard, they say, well, why did they choose to use the word gift? Meaning, is someone sure. less special because they didn't receive the gift? Because Well, you know, this was part of a, a larger uh, campaign that we did called Being You is a Gift from God. And acknowledging that... Um, God created us and expects us to share what good he created in us with each other. And um, we want to acknowledge out of our experience in our church, and, and we have a lot of experience with people um, from all different backgrounds sharing their gifts. And so we can say with integrity that we can see that uh, status, like being gay, it really is just another platform for God to be good to the community. And, you know, people who are gay are a gift to the community. They're a gift to churches all over the world. Uh, many folks are serving in silence. They're not expressing that part of who they are, but they are gifting their communities in many, many, many ways, both church communities and local communities. And so we just wanted to very clearly express that. And what, what, what sort of uh, impact do you hope it will have? And thankfully, mm -hmm. China didn't impact the car in front of her. Uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or behind her. Or behind night, her thankfully. by hitting the brakes. Exactly. Right. Thank you. Right. That's mm -hmm. how it works when you hit up the brakes. Uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, what, what do you expect 
to accomplish? I, I know you, you won't get you the know, message the, the out, most but. important impact I think mm -hmm. we had was really that personal impact. Um, you know, people have the politics they have and they have the beliefs they have. Um, but there are some folks out there that are incredibly wounded and wounded spiritually. And it came very clear to us as we got emails from people that were very heartfelt about the pain that they were experiencing because they felt less than. They felt as though the church was saying to them, you're not actually human or you're not good. Mm. Um, and by, you know, even messages, I remember one we got where somebody had just been kicked out of their home for explaining to their family that they were gay. And then they went, and at that point, the billboard was at an Applebee's, or just outside the Applebee's over by the mall. And they looked out the window of the restaurant and saw that message and began to pray. That, to us, was the impact we were looking for. Mm -hmm. um, billboards, I don't really think, change people's political views or, mm -hmm. or even maybe even their deep, you know, right. uh, held, you know, conceptions of the Bible. But relationship does. Mm -hmm. And we want people to know we want to be in relationship, and so does God. Mm -hmm. And Michelle, you talked about LG, um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the congregation. Do you have a, a little bit of everyone in there? Um, I would say that we're, I think currently we're probably about 50-50 um, heterosexual to LGBT folks. Um, you know, when, we, when the church voted to be open and inclusive 25, 30 years ago, um, the majority of folks in that congregation were straight. Um, and, and voted that it was the right thing to do. One of the first five, I think, in the country, in the United Methodist system, to vote to be open and inclusive. So we've really just had a long-standing history of, of justice work, and this is just another part of it, really, for Central, um, that, that we're right. happy to carry on. And for, if uh, folks want to reach out and get more information, is there a website we can uh, plug for you? Is, what CentralToledo.org, um, and you know we welcome comments and, and emails and, and phone calls. People have been responding, so constructive comments and, uh, and <laughs> we've gotten both but I'm sure. sure right Dial dialogue is good yeah um, if it's dialogue which is two ways right right yeah. but dialogue is good Perfect. okay well, all right thank you both so much for having dialogue with us this morning